If you still don't know how to braid your hair, this video is for you. Because that was literally me for the longest. First step is to start off on detangled and very wet hair. You want to make sure you do this. And I got to leave for class in 30 minutes, so hopefully this don't take too long. I'm just going to tie this back section out of the way. And just so y'all know, I used the Ava NYC Curl Defining Cream and also the Blonde Cream for my highlights. But you can use any curl cream that you have or leave-in conditioning cream. All right, now choose a gel of your choice. So I'm going to be using the Mish, uh Sculpt Curl Defining Gel. This one's pretty good. Or you can use Eco Gel. And just focus it like on the top, the sides, and even like the back. Basically the parts we're gonna be brushing down. You could grab like the tiniest bit more and just put it on the rest of your hair for some hold. Okay, I'm gonna be so real with y'all. I don't know how to part my hair like all the way down. So the back is just... <laughs> yeah, I never learned how to do that. So definitely do that. Do that before you start adding in all the products. Now you wanna get a hard bristle brush and start to brush it. And like brush this part up and this part down. You just want to like lay it before you start um, braiding. Get all the back. Okay, and after that, I like to like finger detangle a little bit because brushing it made the rest of my hair like just slightly tangled. So just do that and then we're going to start braiding. So start with a little small triangle part. Separate it into three sections like this. Just braid this down, only like a few. Now, now this is the start of your braid. So what you're gonna do is keep holding one of them, the one closest to the rest of your hair, and just grab a small section. And some of the hair is trying to get picked up. Once you grab that small section, you're gonna go under the other piece and you just keep doing this. So you just grab and oop, go under. And make sure you're keeping it really tight because if you don't, then the braid's gonna look weird. And then once you get right here, oh, my curl popping out, you can start braiding normally. And you're done, babes.